Well, it's that time again. Weekly vlog time, that is. Should I say California? Find out about that right after this. Thanks for coming back to the weekly vlog. I appreciate everybody stopping back by. And yes, did I say California? I sure did. That's where we're headed to, California. We got to uh, see last week's vlog. We were there in Searcy, Arkansas at the Walmart. Went up to the Loves there in Searcy. Sat there for a couple hours. They said they didn't have anything. They told me I could go home if I wanted to. I said, eh, I kind of, I'll wait it out. I spent four days at the house, so right about four o'clock they sent me a pre-plan picking up there in Little Rock at uh, our warehouse, actually, going to Commerce, California. So we messed around with the load last night, they didn't load it right, had to go get it scaled out at the Loves there in Little Rock, went back, had to get the load reworked, and um, Went back, scaled it out again. It was good to go after that. So I left Little Rock there this morning about 8 o'clock, 8.30. Got a late start. And I made it over here across Oklahoma. Over here to Sayer, Oklahoma. To TA exit 26, I think it is, on I-40. And fought the wind all day across Oklahoma. So we did a total of, I don't know, right at 500 miles. Maybe four something. 480 or something like that so yep that's where we're going california so this is going to be a good vlog this week i'll see you all tomorrow morning good saturday morning here in sayer oklahoma i still the ta it's early in the morning the sun's getting ready to come up and we're going to continue our journey westbound get across the little stretch of Texas into New Mexico and uh, keep our own trucking we got some coffee did a pre-trip everything looking good let's go Forty West getting ready to cross my goodness Texas or cross into Texas from Oklahoma Texas on I-40 West. I was wrong about the miles across the panhandle here. It's about 175 from Oklahoma over here to New Mexico. And I've been there earlier, probably before I got to Amarillo. Uh, windy again. Well, not, you know, you can feel it, but it uh, wasn't nothing to worry about. Got to stay alert, which I'm alert anyway while I'm driving. Uh, we're at the, like the 40 mile marker, about 40 miles from uh, New Mexico line. And I got the camera over here to let you see how flat it is out here. And it's, yeah, wind. A lot of windmills around. See a lot of them. Every once in a while you'll see a sign, a road sign saying uh, Swift Wind Current, next nine miles or whatever, or Gusty Wind Area or something like that. Just have to keep you on your toes. Nothing to really worry about because we're heavy. So, uh, we're 82 miles from 
Tucumcari, I think is how you say that. Tucumcari. Sounds right. And, uh, be over there in a little while. First, let me get it out of Texas. Getting ready to cross over and, uh, New Mexico. Zero, Texas. Where's our state line? Should be coming up. Here we go. New Mexico Information Center. Free maps and literature rest area one mile. TA Gallup, New Mexico. Made it over here. We did about 575, 575 miles today. Had about an hour and a half left to drive. We decided to go ahead and park it here. We're next to 16 on 40, so we're not too far out of Arizona. We're gonna cross Arizona tomorrow. See how close we can get over there to Ontario, California. Over there to the truck stops. But yeah, it's been a crazy day. Wind, uh, windy this morning. Coming across the Texas Panhandle. Then um, rain this afternoon. Then after the rain, followed that up with a little bit of snow. It wasn't bad at all. Just snow flurries mostly. We're gonna go inside the TA here, get us something to eat, and uh, go to bed. I'll see you all tomorrow morning for some more adventures. Happy New Year! New Year's Day, Sunday morning. Here in Gallup, New Mexico, at the TA. Okay, these trains have been going by all night long. Amtrak, freight trains, container trains. There was another one in the other direction. It's crazy.
crazy. We're getting ready to get out of here. Get across uh, into Arizona and get across and hopefully get into California. I don't know how far we're going to get into it, but we are going to get into it. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Time to whoop and ride, as somebody just said on Facebook. <laughs> I'm getting ready to cross over into uh, Arizona. Got a little bit of pre pre precipitation going on out here. I think it's a little bit of snow. Not doing a whole lot. Uh, it's still above freezing, so we're not worried about anything. It's going to be a little bit easy. Not going to be crazy. this Arizona state line. I think we're coming up on it. First exit in Arizona, 359, come a mile and a half. So we'll be up here in about a mile, I think. Nice scenery out here. But you know, I don't get out this way as much. I don't think I've ever done a weekly trucking vlog coming out here. And this would be number 97. Oh no, it's crazy. Alright, here we go.
Oak County line. Yes. All right. We're in the state you need to be in. Still got a few more miles to travel. Or Stowe, California, the TA. Made it to here. I'm going to park here for the night. A pretty good day, except for a little bit of snow up on the mountain. It got a little windy at the last 20 miles, coming across 40 there. But we're on I-15 now. We we'll stop in here. We'll get up in the morning and drive on down to Ontario, or see if we're going to, if we can get unloaded tomorrow. That'd be cool if we do. So uh, I think that's it. You ready to go get something to eat and go to bed? Still not feeling 100%. Still got a little bit of head cold. And coming down them high mountains today, it wasn't feeling all that. So, see y'all tomorrow. Well, it's a good Monday morning, January 2nd. Apparently, this is a legal holiday for uh, New Year's. Try to get a hold of the customer, see if I could come on in today or park there overnight or something. Can't get a hold of them. I guess they're closed. Dispatch said they were closed, so I don't know. We're going to keep trying, but in the meantime, we're going to head on down to uh, Ontario, down there to the big truck stops, get a little bit closer, and get more information. All right, see y'all down there in a little bit. Now we're coming down El Cajon. It's up the top of the mountain there. I'm starting to weigh down. A little foggy up here this morning. So we're just taking it easy. Got a lower gear, lower speed. And we're doing good. Yeah. Elevation 4,000 feet. Ain't too bad. Oh, the fog. fog. The fog cleared up a little bit. A little windy up too, uh, on top too. I got out and Check the tires and everything, and it's pretty windy. But, uh, looking good down at the bottom over there. It's 6% grade. I don't think it's that bad. I don't know. No. It's alright. Alright. Get back to work. Well, here we are, parked. At the Petro, Ontario, California. I think we got a pretty good spot. I settled a lot a couple times. Somebody must have pulled out as I was around the other side. As I came back around, this one was open. Got pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to get out. we we'll get blocked in in the morning. Hopefully, I won't. If we got the. Uh, it's right over there. Main building's over there somewhere. That's where we're fixing to walk over there. See if we can get something to eat. Look around, check things out. Yeah. Tuesday morning, free tripping. Get ready to get out of here. Get this load delivered. I'm ready. I am ready. Ever to be ready. I don't know if y'all can see me, but uh, it starts about 5 15 in the morning, east uh, west coast time, and drinks his pre trip. Got some coffee. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we made it down here to our customer. It's about uh, 6.45 a.m. West Coast time, so we had plenty of time to spare. We had a lot of traffic to deal with, a lot of backups and stuff. But we got her done, and we're here. We found a place, no problem. We good. Back in the door.
Jordan here. I've just got it unloaded here to customer and get me to get out of here. I gotta pull up close the doors and all that good stuff. So this load is finished. Yeah. Down here in Compton, California, gonna pick up my load. But now here on the street, getting ready to, uh, he had just gave me a, just got a phone call from the man inside. He said they're ready for me, so I'm gonna drive around back and get this trailer loaded. Get the heck out of California. I'm here early. Up over time this afternoon, but I checked in and they, they had to take my freight off another trailer. I don't know where it came from, Mexico or something, I guess. I don't know. Or boat. I don't know. And now they got my dock door open. Here we go here back in and get loaded up. Yeah. Okay, we're loaded up. Straight out of Compton. Sorry about that. I just had to say that. We're getting ready to get on this Highway 91 and head east. And keep going east till we hit Arizona. Then eastwardly, eastwardly bound from there. Got kind of a light load. It's only uh, 20,000 pounds. Good load until it gets real windy, which I don't think we have anything to worry about. Everything looks good on the weather. We're going to take the southern route all the way across. I ten, yes. Wish I had time, I'd stop in Phoenix. See a few people, but probably won't have time. Got me in Shirts, Texas, which is around San Antonio, uh, Friday morning, 9 a.m. Got the rest of the day and two full days to get there, 1,335 miles. I gotta out here and navigate these surface streets till I get back on the expressway. I'm on uh, Highway 91 East here in California still, and got this way station. I didn't know. I didn't know about it. But we're in here. And we're in the loaded truck lane. Empty truck lanes over there to the left. I don't know. I've never been on a scale like this. Not sure how it's going to work. Ah. Or it's highway control. What that was.
Steve, California. Off somewhere into Arizona. I'm doing this because the other day we were doing it backwards. Leaving Arizona and coming into California. There it is. Welcome to Arizona. I guess I got a port of entry or something up here, three miles. down there and wanted to get out of California. Such a nice day to drive. No rain, no snow, no wind. Beautiful. It's enjoying the ride. I'm trying to get as many miles in today. So tomorrow and Thursday Ride and chill, or chill and ride, or whatever. Man, Peter Chuck on my right there, I can't get over, so he's just gonna have to slow down and speed up. So I gotta get ready for this scale. Alright, we'll be back shortly. Tuesday evening, we got parked. Parked here at TA. Um, to Nopal, Arizona, something like that. I don't know how you pronounce that exactly. I guess I have to go inside and ask one of the locals how they say it. But we had a full day when we left Compton down there. We didn't stop till we got here, about 330 something miles, I think it is. So we're going to go in here, get us a nice meal, and uh, get some rest. Pretty good little California trip, you know, up till this morning when I got to the customer down there. I was, you know, had a nervous stomach and everything. Uh, unfamiliar area, got to be in a place I've never been to before. And uh, I had directions off of Qualcomm, I had my GPS on my phone. And I looked everything up on Google Earth, so thank goodness for uh, technology. But we got down there with 15 minutes to spare. Then went down to Compton, which is like 12 miles down the road, 12, 15 miles. Got loaded and got out of there. Like I said, I didn't stop till I got here. So, uh, then we'll go ahead and end this vlog, this week's vlog right here with this. So I can um, start shooting next week's vlog from here tomorrow morning. That way I get parked tomorrow night. Got no big rush, you know. I can stop early enough to get all these week, this week's clips all edited up, put together for Thursday Thursday evening upload. That's it. So. Uh, Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to check out the other social media. I'm on uh, Facebook at Pale Rider TV, Twitter at Pale Rider TV, and Instagram PaleRider.tv. Check all those things out if you would. Hit the like button, whatever. And um, that's it. I will see you next week.